end of the video, this is about the packet register. Cisco Packet Tracer or just same for us PKT PKT extension file so I will going to start doing this activity so if the case is about add computers and You cannot open this file if you haven't installed the packet tracer. Alright, so I just need to wait. I just need to. Alright, by the way, where you show you the icon for the installed packet tracer, you can see. An automatic user profile the name once you open that uh, packet tracer file and then this is just a reminder that once you change this, the name of this one for example mage is the name then you hit ok this uh, this activity will reset okay so once you click yes Right, so automatically we're going to start the activity, and you can see now this uh, time lapse um, uh, from packet tracer. Okay, so this is the procedure in creating this activity. So going back to what I'm saying earlier, so you can see I already installed the Cisco packet tracer 7.2 version right so for me to continue continue the, the activity you can see that from orange it became green right now simply because it's 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 of course this is a computer it's kind of loading okay so after loading it or just in case you are very patient in waiting for that uh, green lights to appear you can actually click the fast forward time okay or just simple click out D right so for me to continue so if you have here this activity you can see the time is already running so this is the objective so you need to configure the computers to use the HCP again the HCP is as simple as automatically it will give you an IP address so you can also configure the static addressing on the server and then you will understand now how to use the type config and then how to use the P okay. so let me start but of course, you need to read all of this instruction. Make sure this that to ensure that the instruction always remain visible during the activity. You can you have to click the tab. All right. So tab check box in the lower left hand of this instruction window. In this activity you will investigate the topology, configure the HTTP addressing, and use commands to verify addressing and test connectivity so imagine you're looking at the two computers you have here the switch and then you have the server then you have the router which is connected to the cloud okay so going back so the two topologies have the following so you will notice that the need that the pieces are connected to the switch and this is using the straight loop so this green light will not appear if 
we're not using the straight two. Again, when you're using a straight two, you're connecting a device, a different device. Okay, but if you're going to use a cross, a cross cable, which is this one, you're, you're connecting the same devices. Okay, so, so we're good at that cable because we we cannot use the green triangles from each endpoints okay so there should be a green triangles you don't see the if you do not see the green triangles navigate the options and then click preferences and then you can check the menu which has the show link lights all right so for that let's move on to step number two in step number two you can see pc zero this is zero in the pc zero window select desktop okay so we were going to select pc zero all right and then you'll notice that this is the system unit for pc zero you can turn it turn on and turn the pc so this is turned on you can see desktop so these are the choices for it, of course in desktop you can click the type the configuration then you need to select the http and you should see the message after clicking the HTTP button, the HTTP request success. So I will now click the HTTP. And then you can see the HTTP request success. Close PC0 by selecting the X or the cross in the upper right hand corner. Click X. And then let's move on to PC1. We will do do that again, right? So this is now PC1. I'll move on to desktop. Then you need to click type configuration. Choose this DHCP. And then DHCP request is already successful. You can now close this one. Okay. Then you now you need to observe the configuration assigned to PC. Click PC0 again, okay, so we're in step 3, click PC0, and then click the desktop tab, command prompt, choose command prompt, and then you need to type iconfig and um, space slash all. Then you can see now the command prompt or the IP address. Okay, so I already recorded that. So the IP address for PC0 is 172.16.1. Okay, so going back. record the IP address of that path server and windows and that was dynamically assigned via the HCP system. Okay, and then do it also in PC, PC1. What we're going to do is to record the IP addresses. Okay, so let's move on to PC1. And then I'll move to command from. Then I will type IP config space slash all and okay. So 172.16.1.2. So I already recorded that. So this is now the PC1 IP address. Okay. So you need now to ping the PC1 IP address and then you need to ping also the gateway all right so since there is a reply for pc1 what is 
be the fourth gateway now. So the fourth gateway is came from of course the router. So you can see here yeah 172.16.1.254 where in it is the default gateway, right? So let me now check. Alright, so one seventy two dot sixteen dot one dot two five so there should be other one. So meaning you are connected to the router. So this is PC zero. So you need to ping it again to the other PC which is you're going to ping now the PC zero. So I'll go again to the command from okay. So the IP address of PC0 is 72.16.1.1 So I'm going to check the connections of that 172 172.16.1.1 172.16.1.1 16.1.1 Okay, so you can see that it is connected. Then you need also to pin the IP address of the gateway. 172.16.1.1 that 16 that one that one that 251 okay and I'll see the reply and then now let's move on to step number four click server zero so we need to move on to this one then hit close then I'll go on here all right so I'll click server zero okay. and then you need to go to desktop then IP configuration then you need to type in the following IP address so this is for the IP address and this is for the subnet mask 255. For the default gateway is this one and for the DNS this one. And server here is now configured. Those IP configuration. Alright, so I'm going to close this. And then click PC1. And then open it. IP configuration. You need to pin desktop. Where is desktop? Close this one. So you need to I be configuration then pin server zero. So the server zero IP address is one seventy two. So let me close this again. Let me go to command prompt and let me be one 
and said, Do that. So it's a reply. Right. So you can see now that it's 100% completion. But just uh, just to just in case you have a problem when you didn't get the completion of 100%, you can check the result. You can go here and check the results. And then you can see congratulations on completing this activity. If if you are incomplete, you can see uh, incomplete activity. Then you will you can check which one or which of that part of these steps made you make uh, mistakes or incorrect incorrect things you've done, right? So with that, I think you you understand what what you should do and explore here inside the bucket place. That's all. Thank you.